Hari, Shalom, Shalom, Israel. First, I'd like to give all praises and glory to the Heavenly Father and the Son, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahushai, Bahashim, Rukal Kadash. Double honors to my apostles and others at Great Millstone who will well and tell me this truth. And Shalom to all the brothers out there through the four corners of the earth, pushing this word in all righteousness and sincerity. Shalom. Brother Kazapa from GMS Rally in North Carolina. Come back with you another quick lesson. You know, it's going to be quick and short to the point. I'm at the workplace, so, you know, make sure I edify you brothers um, quick and fast <laughs> do, do, do the spirit part of your Howard Bashim Yom Shai. So, um, recently I just watched this video, just recently it was uploaded by uh, the brothers in Charlotte, um, you know, the name Jim and Charlotte Fallouts. Um, brothers didn't know, uh, I formerly was a part of this camp. I'm now part of the uh, uh, camp in Raleigh, but um, the brothers that uh, this... Uh, older brother, um, second second in command from the camp was talking about um, brother Ka. All right, um, you know I personally knew these brothers, man. That they they was talking about, man. These dudes that fell out, you know, um, and stuff like that. But you know when um, the brother was going into the scriptures, it just popped up in my mind of um, Matthew the thirteenth chapter, you know, which uh, we're gonna get, we're gonna break this down to the spirit empire. How about Shemuel Shai? All right, because. Uh, this 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 parable is heavy from Yahweh Shai, man. All right, because this is exactly what's happening um, as we as we um, walk in this truth, man. All right, this is a living pro. <laughs> it's like a living prophecy, man. <laughs> that that was gonna happen, man. Okay, it says um, this is Matthew 13. Um, I'm gonna start at verse one. The same day Yahweh Shai went out of the house and sat by the seaside and great multitudes were gathered together unto him so that he went into a ship and sat and the whole multitude stood on the shore and he spake many things unto them in parables saying behold a sower went forth to sow and when he sowed some seeds fell upon the wayside and the fowls came and devoured them. Some fell upon stony places. They were where they had not much earth. And forthwith they sprung up because they had no deepness of earth. And when the sun was up, they were scorched. And because they had no root, they withered away. And some fell upon thorns, and the thorns sprung up and choked them. And the other fell un into good ground and brought up forth fruit, some in a hundredfold, some in sixtyfold, some some in a hundredfold, some sixtyfold, some thirtyfold. If an ear who have it's like it, who have ears to hear, let him hear. All right. So this was the this was the parable. All right. And we go into verse 18, Yahweh Shai breaks down the parable. Alright? It says, verse 18, Hear therefore the parable of the sower. When one heareth the word of the kingdom and understand it not, when he come, then come the wicked one and catches away that which was sown in his heart. This is the seed. This is he that received the seed by the wayside, all right? And that's where men, men come up to the camp. All right, they, they're listening, and they don't understand. And all of a sudden, some, somebody comes up with a distraction, whatever it may be, a text message. Uh, either might come up, or one of their friends might come up and distract them and take them away from the word. This is, the, this is what it is right here. That's the seed that was, uh, that was received by the wayside, huh? all right? It says, but he that have, but he that received the seed unto stony places the same is he that heareth the word and anon in joy with, and anon with joy receiveth it alright so when they hear the word they receive it they uh when they receive the word they get happy to hear about all the, the kingdom of heaven for you know the nation of Israel the Lord only loves the nation of Israel you know everything that comes with the the beauty of hearing this truth man alright says verse 21 Yet he have no root in himself, so he didn't root himself in Yahweh Shai. All right, it says, but dureth for a while, 
But when tribulation and persecution arise because of the word, by and by he is offended. So he wasn't ready for all the uh, afflictions to come, man. All right, he didn't root himself in Yahweh Shai and and prepare his soul for temptation, man. All right, and and prepare his soul for whatever is to come, man. All right, he got offended at the word and 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 then left, man. All right, you know, you know, said, you know, forget this, it's not worth it. All right. Because that he also that receives seed among the thorns, and this is the part I want to get because this is exactly what happened to those men that the brother, uh, brother Hakai was talking about in this video. Okay, all right, GMS uh, Charlotte Fallouts. All right, with the video, that's how the brothers. You know, you could go watch the video to get a better understanding of what I'm talking about. But this scripture right here, verse 22, Matthew 13 and 22 describes these men. Okay, it says. He also that receives seed among the thorns is he that heareth the word, which these men did, okay, and the care of this world and deceitfulness of riches choked the word and he became unfruitful. Because these men were in the truth, man. All right, I personally knew these men, man. All right, you know, these men were uh, 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 out there in the highways and byways, all right, doing videos. Um, and, and, and doing everything that they're supposed to do, man. But the riches of the world or anything that concerns the world choke the word out, man. All right. You know, whatever they might be having, riches, family, whatever, man. The cares of this world, man. All right. Being looked at in a certain way. All right. Being the man. All right. The, the, it says, I'm going to read it again. Verse 22. He also that receiveth seed among the thorns is he. That hear of the word and the care of this world, your mama, your daddy, your children, you looking good for these hoes, all that stuff, man. It says, and the deceitfulness of riches choked the word and he become up unfruitful. Okay. All right. So he was doing the work. All right. Came to hear the word, you know, but the everything that he had in the world was more valuable to him than this truth, man. So he gave the truth up and went back into the world, man. All right. And verse 23, it says, But he that receiveth seed into the good ground, uh, in, into the good ground, is he that heareth the word and understandeth it, which also beareth fruit and bringeth forth some uh, an hundredfold, some sixty, some thirty. All right. So <laughs> that, that's the elect, man. The elect of the nation of Israel is the ones, the seeds that fell on good ground, man. All right, that have that foundation in Yahweh Shai, who believe on the word, who understand it, and bear fruit, man. All right? You know, a brother might not necessarily bring another brother in the truth, but he's doing the works, man. All right? He's doing the works with all fervent spirit, man, and, and sincerity, man. All right? You know? Uh, you know, conducting the business as they're supposed to, man. But those men, man, that that the brother Hakal was talking about in that video, man. Verse twenty two applies to them, man. The deceitfulness of this world, man. All right, and the deceitfulness of riches and the care of this life. You know, basically, you know, made them unfruitful, man. All right, they went back into the world because they 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 missed the uh, the pleasures of the world, man. All right, having all these hoes. You know, um, um, looking, looking fly for these souls, being a pretty boy, all that, man. All right, and stuff. So, you know, hey, man, you, you know, it's like I said, you become unfruitful, man. All right, and Yahweh by Shema is gonna cut that unfruitful branch off, man. All right, with you not being um, um, fervent in spirit, man. All right. As a matter of fact, like I said, I'm gonna get this. I like to, been getting this lately. Because this is the topic of the matter. They became slothful. Okay. This is Proverbs chapter 19 verse 15. It says, Slothfulness casted into a deep sleep. So the Lord woke y'all niggas up. But you, but you, the cares of this world snatched you back into a deep sleep, man. All right. It says, And an idle soul shall suffer hunger. And I don't mean you ain't doing nothing, man. Because you ain't doing the works, man. What are you doing, man? All right? Not a damn thing, you know? Posting, you know, social media and stuff. Post it up. But you haven't done a video in a month, man. And like the uh, elder from uh, uh, London said, man, that's 730 hours. So you telling me you can do one video in 730 hours, man? 
There's no damn excuses, man. You got time to do everything else. All right? So, <laughs> hey, man, it says, And an idle soul shall suffer hunger, because your spirit is mere now, mere ne- um, malnourished, man. All right? And when that time comes, when the family word hits, you're going to be looking for the word. Just, you know, you're going to be hungry for the word. You're not going to be able to find it, man. All right? But you got to, because the Lord is going to stop, you know, his word from being um, pushed out, man. All right? As you read in Amos chapter 8 and verse 11. And I'm going to, you know, I'm going to get that. I'm going to end it on that. All right? You niggas are the ones that fell, uh, that fell on the ground and thorns choked out the uh, the word, man. All right? The cares of the world. Okay? This is um, Amos chapter 8, verse 11. Behold, the days come, say, if you howl the most high, that I will send a famine in the land. Not a famine of bread, nor of thirst for water, but of hearing the words of Yahweh. All right, and that's that's the point, man. Or lack of uh, famine is a lack of resource or something. So you gotta have a lack of resource of hearing the uh, words of the Yahweh by Shemuel man. All right, and you gotta hunger in that day, man. All right, an idle soul shall hunger, man. All right, <laughs> you gotta hunger for this word, but you're not gonna be able to find it, man. You're not gonna be able to eat the word, man. All right, all right. It says. And they shall wander from sea to sea, and from the north even to the east. They shall run to and fro to seek the word of Yahweh, and shall not find it. Yeah, man, because you had this word at one point, but you decided to give it up, man, for this world, man. So when that time comes, you can be looking for brothers. You can be looking, you know, to seek out the Lord, but you're not even gonna, ha- you're not gonna be able to find them, man. All right, and stuff. You're gonna be, uh, uh, you're gonna be thirsty, man. You're gonna be hungry for this word, but. The Lord's gonna let you starve out, man. All right. It says, verse thirteen: In that day, shall the fair virgins and young men faint for thirst. All right. You're gonna be thirsting after this word, man. But the Lord ain't gonna feed you. The Lord ain't gonna um, quench your thirst, man. He's gonna let you starve out, man. All right. And 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 dwindle away like a damn raisin, man. Shrivel up. Okay. When all when all hell breaks loose, you won't have any comfort. All right, because we know the wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of our times. You won't have no stability because you gave up Yahweh by Shema Shai for this world. So with that, I hope brothers was edified. You know, stay you know stay on point. Do what you got to do. Please Yahweh by Shema Shai and pray that He doesn't take His Holy Spirit away from you, man. All right. So with that, I'd like to give all praises and glory to the Heavenly Father and the Son, Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai by Hashem Double honest to my apostles and elders, a great millstone who will well and taught me this truth. And shalom to all the brothers out there through the four corners of the earth, pushing this word in all righteousness and sincerity. Shalom.